December 2007. After putting 40 young performers through a grueling audition process, only Matthew James Thomas and Georgina Hagen have made it into Britannia High. Oh, my God! <laughs> can't believe it. I can't believe it. But the casting team were still undecided on four other potential cast members. Pixie, Zizi, Rochelle and Sophie. It's not a question of whether they're talented, it's whether they're absolutely right, and as, as youngsters, whether they're right right now. After working with them further, the producers decided that there was to be no role in Britannia High for Zizi, Rochelle or Pixie. Although Pixie had impressed Gary Barlow, the casting team felt that her acting ability could not sustain a major role in a television drama. I've done everything that I could have done and I still don't think I'm right, so there's nothing more I can do. I got so close and then it was like, oh no, sorry, we don't actually want you and I'm not a happy Polly, but I've just got to get on with life now, haven't I? But for Sophie Powells, it was a different outcome. There's something very, very quirky about her. Our problem with Sophie is we don't quite know what to do with her. You have inspired us to kind of come up with an additional character. It will be written about you and for you. That's quite exciting. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to offer you a part in Britannia High, if you're willing to accept. Yeah, I'm willing. Just for once, have people to say, you know what, you were good. It's just blooming ace. My dad is going to be so proud of me. <laughs> As he should be. The future for me is a bit blooming exciting, but I've got a lot of hard work to do now. So Sophie joins Britannia High as an additional role, leaving the casting team with four more lead stars to find. January 2008, and after the Christmas break, the search for the missing stars of Britannia High continued. But now, time was against them. In just a few weeks, Gary Barlow would start writing songs specifically for the cast of Britannia High. Without the full cast, the soundtrack could be in jeopardy. No matter how good our song is, it lives or dies by the voice that's on there. So it's so important those voices are essential. We're hoping that amongst all the people that turn up today, there'll be some singers who can dance and act. <laughs> so it was a new year and a new search. This time, it was an open audition. It's hit and miss an open call. You don't know what you're going to get. Hundreds turned up for their chance to be one of the Britannia High Six. Anyone could apply, as long as they were exceptionally talented and looked 16 to 18 years old. I know he's going to be 29, right. um, so we're not going to be able to see you or do anything with you. This time, the casting team were being brutal. If they didn't have the right look for the show or experience, then they didn't even get to audition. OK, I don't think you're for us. Thank you very much. Open auditions can be very disheartening because you see hundreds of people Thank who want much. to do what you're offering and they're just not right. You're not for us, I'm sorry. I trained at Mount View. Okay, you're not for us, I'm sorry. Um, just a little bit professional training, but not... Really you ask them then to tell you their name and where they train and you just get this mumble, mumble, mumble. Well, you want to act in a television series and you can't actually tell me your name so I can hear it. It's not going to happen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go home. You're not for us, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't think you're for us. Thank you very much. I'm Sophie Holmes. I'm training at Lay Theatre Arts. Okay, Sophie, you can go down there if you like. Thank you. Only if they looked good. Then they were tested on just a few simple steps to see if they had the potential to dance. Step and go for your pirouette. Well, I bet that you look good on the dance floor. going to be part of Britannia High. Step and go for your pirouette. If they got through dance, then they had to act. You're at the front tapping better than Izzy. She's done West End. And sing. We've got better. But as the day wore on, it became increasingly obvious that from the hundreds that had initially turned up to audition, the number of potential stars were diminishing rapidly. You know you're not as good at dancing as me. Well, it's hard to tell. You're always still in the spotlight. I am not. You could read the phone book better than that, couldn't you, really? <laughs> Onwards. <laughs> no one could reach them. Totally not. As one of Britain's busiest choreographers, Arlene had other commitments and had to leave the producers to continue their search alone. So unfortunately, she never got to see the first audition by 21-year-old Sapphire Elia. Gorgeous. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
The producers wanted to see Sapphire again later that week, but there was a problem. I can't make Wednesday and Thursday. Um, I'll be filming in Madrid. The only way show creators Arlene Phillips and David Ian would be able to see Sapphire would be on video. And most crucially, Arlene would need to see how well she could dance. So her assistant, Georgia, put her through her paces. Seven, back on eight. With limited time to get the routine perfected, it was a big ask for Sapphire. I'm more of a singer and an actress, so if I do get a part in it, it's going to be really, really strenuous for me with the dancing. But she would have to wait for David and Arlene's verdict on her audition. Mid-January, London. And just 40 people had been shortlisted to be seen by Arlene and David. I'm just back from a holiday, so I'm hoping today that we're going to get the final pass cast. It's crucial. David, Arlene and the producers still needed to find four more stars, and time was against them. In less than a week, Gary Barlow and a team of the world's top songwriters would be expecting the full cast to work with at the recording studios in Bath. We're all under a little bit of pressure because, of, you know, it's a, a massive amount of talent down there and we can't get all that talent together again. If performers weren't cast today, the whole production could be in jeopardy. Having already cast Georgina Hagen and Matthew James Thomas, the producers now had to find talented performers that would fit alongside them. We have to be as excited about another four or five actors. We're going to be as strong as our weakest link, and our two strong links are phenomenal. Arlene managed to make the briefest of visits, but as ever, she was sure to make an impression. Do it again. I know we are going to have to see more people. It's like cherry picking. She watched Sapphire. Absolutely exquisite. They can say what they like. This is it. And gave her verdict on the rest of the talent the producers had found. His problem is he could almost be Matthew. There's no way yep. he looked remotely in the same age bracket. Arlene had spoken. It was now a tough decision that lay ahead for the rest of the casting team. Amongst those hoping to land a role in Britannia High were some known faces. X Factor finalist Ray Quinn. It's definitely not what I expected. <laughs> Very engaging to watch. Yeah. As well as Ray, Dance X winner Rana Roy. I'm just like trying to keep up with everything. So it's going okay so far. She's a fantastic dancer and, and very good actress, and she's got a great personality. She walks in and you go, Who's that? You know, that, that's a poster girl. Like Arlene, the rest of the team were impressed with Sapphire Elia. She's an all rounder, isn't she? Great uh, So I think she's a real potential star. She can sing and she can dance and she can act. But when it came to the final decision, no one could agree, and time was running out. Seen an awful lot no, that's a very valid and, point. And you've been through 200 to get here. Yeah. How many more hundreds We've are there? Ever seen How many more voices are there? like this? Yeah. We've got a lot of opinionated people working on this show, and I'm not convinced that some of the people we talked about today and strongly considered to put in the show have that special something for Britannia High. The point is purely visual. The point yeah. is, forget everything. Just look at what they look like. Actually, I didn't think he looked 17. I think he looked 22. He looked like a man. In the back of the producers' minds was the looming date with Gary Barlow. They needed singers. If we cast Sapphire, you've got a singer. If we go with Ray, and there's a big discussion there, you've also got a singer. Here to make sure they definitely cast people to work with Gary Barlow in Bath was ITV Network's commissioning editor of Britannia High, Paul Jackson. I mean, I absolutely don't think that's the right casting. As the man in charge of the overall series, it's his opinion that's final. I'm just trying to cut through the chase, guys, because there's a lot of opinions in the room and a lot of interest. You need to cast people who are super talented. That's what this show is yeah. about, super talent. No one wanted to make a mistake. Getting the right cast was crucial, regardless of deadlines. It's such a good opportunity for anyone, for any performer. You just you've got to try your best, and if you're right for the part, you buy it. If you're not, you know. And after three hours, they were only happy to agree on just two performers. Rana. OK, thank you very much. This is completely life-changing. I really didn't think I was going to cry. <laughs> so I really did not expect that at all, and I'm so happy. Rana Roy was our third star of Britannia High, and the fourth, Sapphire Elia. And with Sapphire away filming in Madrid, producer Gareth Phillips called her with the good news. We would like you to be one of our main cast members in Britannia High. Oh, my God. I was like, 
totally crazy. I couldn't believe it. To be honest, I was completely over the moon. I phoned everybody in my family, started crying to my nan down the phone. They were now the next two cast members of Britannia High. It's totally crazy. I can't believe it. It's great. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I'm so grateful. Still to come, the cast meet for the first time. Oh, my God! And there's a surprise oh for Matthew. We had, like, a, a very tiny little fling and she dumped me. Plus, they get down to work with Gary Barlow and Mark Owen. It was a really nice, creative energy. It was a real pleasure to be a part of it. 